it looks fucking beautiful. <laughs> so we've got just a little bit of entertainment in store for you guys tonight. We're going to do maybe like an hour and a half of entertainment and then everyone else is just going to be able to mingle and chill. And I just ask that while we're doing the entertainment, if everyone can keep the talking down to a minimum. And if you want to talk, just like go in the back and chat. There's like an amazing place to go and chat in the back. But like people have paid tickets and we're going to do storytelling. So please respect all the artists and respect everyone around, okay? Okay, so I'm going to read a little... Um, kind of love chapter this evening. It's like a love but not love chapter, you know? And I guess the backstory that you need to know from it is that um, I was traveling with an ex-partner of mine called Bo, and we were in Australia and we were having a good time and, you know, and stuff happens. So um, I want to welcome everyone to come on this literary journey, just chill out, listen, we got music and song. What we're going to basically be doing is pairing cover songs with the storytelling um, with this book. So I wrote this book and it's available for sale if anyone wants to purchase a copy. Um, but yeah, story and song. It's like storytelling and then music through memory. So come on the journey with us. few days so um, if I cough into the microphone please excuse me. conversation that was just waiting for me to jump into its unclouded placement and and well beneath each concrete canvas was a crater of reinvention in that city in that breathing pulsing creature of Melbourne, I was remembering my youth. I was recalling my dreams and remembering the divinity within me that had become so easily lost after years of brainwashing and logic. Be quiet, I heard them say. Sit up straight, wear those shoes and this hat at X to Y and equate to a very good housewife. Be perfect, absolutely perfect. Please just be perfect 
in every single way. It was the mantra of a common child. However, it was actually after childhood had skipped far away from me that I began to remember the joys of jump rope. When I again played in the park without restrictions of a curfew and while swinging on the roundabout with absolute abandon and the strength of adult legs. Well, that's finally where my true voice had began to properly navigate its purpose. And such a time is when real happiness began to seek me out. to wear an assortment of odd socks and skirt boot combinations of atrocious attire. Contentment showed me my style and taught me that after childhood, I could easily become master of the washing machine in order that muddy dresses were no longer problematic. Being barefoot and breathless was when the fleeting fragrance of true perfection came to knock upon my door. above the dip of my smiling lip and I invited perfection in for a tea party and there we took seat and began to discuss the latest developments in our unified campaign for divinity. For life that time. Well, it was as sweet as a cherry pie. And the blossomings of city life had me glowing with the emerald magic of labradorite. Each day floated carelessly into the next with a perfection that teased the outer edges of my world. And without further ado, I became a country girl who had grown to love the city. Thank you. 
dragonfly out in the sun, you know what I mean. Butterflies all having fun, you know. Oh, dear.